At just six years old, our first guest spends most of his time interviewing scientists about climate change and evolution for his podcast. When I was six, I ate crayons. From Wilmette, Illinois, please welcome Nate. Welcome to Pop's Quiz. Thanks, Ellen. As you heard, in this interview, I'm joined by Nate Buckhurst. Instead of me introducing him, I'll let him explain a little about what he does. Hi, Poppy. My name is Nate Buckus. And I um, am the host of the show about science, a podcast for kids and adults, so you can w listen with both. Is that awesome? And it's a funny way to learn science. His podcast is definitely awesome. All the links for Nate will be in the description down below. So over to Nate answering my questions. Why do you love SciComp? I love science communication because I help other kids like me learn and make the entire world a better place. And step by step by step, we can all work for a great and amazing future if we just educate the public on why science is important. And that's why I love to be a science communicator and get the word out. What's your favorite way or devil to engage people in your field? So my favorite way to engage people in my field is I love to do stunts in recording that it nobody else does. For example, one time I was in California recording an episode at um, their, one of their their public news organization and um, there was a Tesla coil there made out of junk. They haven't they hadn't ever tested it to see if it had would work or not. So I was the first person, along with the first science communicator, to ever get to see that Tesla coil run. And also, I got to record it so all of you guys could see it. to do stuff like that and make people be able to do things like I do and they need that information and like they need to learn to do stuff like I do to do stuff like everybody does to do amazing things and make the world a better place what message would you like to give young people about STEM? My message for young people about STEM is you can always do amazing things. Even if you think something is hard, or you, can, you are able to do that thing if you try the best you can. And... It's amazing what you can accomplish if you just try hard enough. I try hard every day to make my podcast. And lots of people do try every day very hard. And you try hard in everything from reading to mathematics. Everything has a purpose. Where's the coolest place you've seen or demonstrated SciComm? Two of my favorite places actually to do SciComm were first and foremost, I was demonstrating science communication on the Ellen stage because 
I wanted every the one of the producers liked my show, so I came on, and I also wanted to do amazing things for the people in the audience and the millions of people who also watched. And my second, my other favorite place to do SciComm is where I is behind scenes at the Field Museum. I got. Did you know that only five percent of of things in the Field Museum are on public display? Only five percent. There's, but. And 95% of things are behind the scenes. I got to see some of those stuff. Everything from, everything from people dissecting birds to flesh-eating bugs. Everything there had a purpose and everything was connected. And I was happy to do an episode on that and and get some of the behind the scenes stuff out to the public and maybe even put 6% on public display. Thanks for having me on the show Poppy. It was so fun to do the interview and I hope oop that you like the recording. Bye. Thank you so much for answering my questions, Nate. It's so great to see another science presenter who's so enthusiastic about what they do. Hopefully this will encourage other young children to get involved in science. I just loved your last podcast about sloths and I can't wait for the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. But make sure to subscribe to Nate's The Show About Science podcast. Join me next time when I'll be back with more amazing science communicators. Bye!